I believe most people really want to do a good job. In this session, I'm going to show you how to take your okay performers and help them focus on what matters so that they can create far better sales results than you ever dreamed possible. Now, if you're the kind of leader who has great accountability already, you'll love this because I'll show you how to get lenders to up the ante on the performance quickly. If you feel like you are struggling to get accountability in your workplace and people all look busy, but they're not just unleashing high performance, you'll love what's coming because you can get some nice loan growth on good accounts in just a few weeks. Or if you have accountability in place, but maybe you could better optimize what your people are accountable to, and that could be your big breakthrough. Brace yourself because your breakthrough is in sight. There are three challenges that get in the way of optimized accountability. First, most people don't want to be accountable because then it is clear how they're doing. They fear they won't succeed, so they play games, pretend not to get it, or don't turn in reports hoping you'll give up. Second, people who have not evolved themselves and grown enough personally can, when accountability is introduced, start playing games, and it gets real weird, weird real fast, as they have every excuse in the world for why they don't quite understand what you want or when you want it. Third, gravity exists. Even if you get accountability for a while, there are forces working against you to bring you back to the state of no accountability. Now, if you're like hundreds of bank CEOs I've talked with, you have seen all of these at one time or another. I'm now gonna give you three steps to get some accountability traction within a few short weeks. Step one, in contrast to so many initiatives where they suggest that if you set goals and change incentive pay, results will happen. The reality is that hundreds of bank CEOs nod, and when I bring up that it doesn't work, they agree. Regardless, so many bank execs still introduce those tactics hoping for a different result. Instead, you need to understand that you don't have a sales training issue, you have a confidence issue. Until you get the right system in place to normalize winning, accountability will always blow up. Step two, unlike so many approaches that start out setting a target that's too high, realize that if you want some quick wins on the basics at the beginning, that's the magic. By bringing visibility to the basics and celebrating them, you can then slowly raise the bar. By going slow, you go really fast. Step three, raise the bar every week from the week before. By celebrating the progress weekly, you can enjoy the buy-in. Follow that by building the franchise system of reporting, celebrating, visibility, and coaching. By doing that, you'll avoid the this too shall pass experience and return to lackluster results that is almost otherwise guaranteed. So just three steps, build confidence, create the raise the bar system, and build the stickiness system. Go through this process and you can get accountability for the right things in place quickly. And you can sleep well at night knowing you won't have to repeat this in a few years with people doing the slow walk thinking that they'll win again in their fight against accountability. Be sure to check out the next episode where I'll show you how to help your sales managers get better results in growing your loans.